Peekers. My name is Amanda Diaz and I'm here at Austin Film Festival 2021 and we're on the red carpet for the one year with. President of the United States has issued a state of emergency. I never said we're all gonna die. Okay, what I said was we all could die. Big difference. No, 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 no! And I kinda wanna ask, like, what was your biggest inspiration for this film? Biggest inspiration was, uh, sad to say, but the pandemic, and we kind of were sitting there. I was sitting there trying to cope with the anxieties of what it was going on in March of 2020, and then I said, let's make a comedy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and we just kind of were like, it was my way of dealing with what was going on and figuring out what was going on with the world, and that's how I did it, so yeah. <laughs> No, amazing way to cope. I, I think it looks yeah. great. So I kind of figure like COVID could have been an influence. Um, mm -hmm. Going off of that, I was wondering if like, you know, what challenges y'all face because of COVID also? Yeah, there was a lot. We had a, a very small crew. Um, we, we were kind of doing it pre before we got all the guidelines from unions and stuff. And so we were basically talking to other productions and talking to um, uh and looking at like CDC guidelines and talking to health experts and saying like, what's the best way to do this? And we ended up quarantining together and trusting each other and uh, having a very limited crew. And it was tough, but it was a lot of fun. How was it like being a writer, director, and actor? Like, It was it was pretty insane. We, we kind of have a sketch comedy background and we all will do that. Me, John Michael, and Jeff will pass off hats and stuff. So it was interesting going from that, but we have, we're used to that, but making it on a feature level was a lot crazier because it was more hard on the acting side than it was on the, the directing side because I've done that before, but getting to act in it also made it a new uh, wave of challenging. But again, back to making stuff with friends is I, I could trust that Jeff was going to get a great shot and that John Michael was going to produce the heck out of it, so yeah. What is like the biggest thing you want the audience to take away from this film? Biggest thing I want the audience to take away is to, even when things are really, really crazy and hard, it's like finding people that you love and care about uh, within those moments. And so the macro of life is constantly uh, really depressing and <laughs> anxiety inducing. And I think the remembering that it's not always about what's happening all around in the world, but it's about what's happening in your own house or with your own friends and family, so, yeah. So my next question is, like, what's the main thing that drew you to this film? Well, for this particular project, I think it was really fun to get to look at the whole pandemic situation with, like, uh, a lens of fun and some levity to, like, an otherwise kind of scary situation, and it was really just fun to get to explore that with these guys and this project and yeah so it was really fun yeah no like I think y'all definitely made the best out of a really like bad situation um, so my next question is like what was the biggest like how did COVID what was the biggest problem with producing this movie because of COVID um, yeah I mean it's obvious to yeah for, most things are obvious clearly we just uh, we had to abide by a lot more restrictions and limitations because of COVID just to keep people safe on set. Do you remember your favorite part about filming? Of filming this? Uh, honestly, I can say whatever I can say whatever I want on this thing. Oh, no, yeah. my favorite, okay great, my favorite part of filming is Chad has to become nude for some certain scenes of this film and it's a very it's a very vulnerable thing, not his favorite part, my favorite part and not to be weird, it's not a weird thing. This is Drew's favorite part. Sure. Stop. What was funny about it was Chad having to be very vulnerable and like have this robe and have to like cover himself up and be like, I'm, I need you guys to like take care of me. I'm naked. This is very hard to do. Um, and maybe just like, I guess seeing you suffer and it being uncomfortable was kind of funny for me. So that was the highlight. No, uh, the highlight for me was, uh, I don't know, what was the highlight? Do any of y'all have a highlight y'all want to share? I think seeing Chad be kind of uncomfortable half to act nude was pretty funny for me. So I like that. That's a that's a good one. I, I just said generally the camp vibe was was fun for me. But the camp vibe was fun. Certain moments, man. I didn't have any. 
Yeah, no, not none of it. It was all just like, I blacked out. I, I think making this film was very therapeutic in a way of it was during the quarantine and none of us had anything to do really. We didn't have any work. Everything was being frozen. We were able to kind of go back to making stuff how we did in college, honestly, of these sketches that we started out where it would be just the three of us, somebody holding a mic, somebody acting, somebody holding the camera. And it was fun to kind of go back to that and make it in a very pure way of like, hey, we don't have a lot of crew here. It's all very stripped down, but let's um, trust each other and make something great. And I felt like every day we showed up to set was some form of just trusting each other to do that. So the whole process was very cathartic to be able to do during that time. Yeah. Yeah, we touched on this, and I said that this was a really like interesting and great way to cope with the whole pandemic. You know. Yeah. No, it was it was definitely it like was coping mechanism. gave us something good to do and focus on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Stamp of approval. Yeah. yeah.